Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today is going to be a video that is a bit different than what I intended to make. I originally ordered sort of the same type of t-shirt from Printful and from Printify and I wanted to do a comparison video about their quality. Both Printful and Printify are print-and-demand suppliers that do not have a marketplace. You have to integrate them with your Etsy store, with your Shopify store, with your WordPress, or, you know, have, like, manual orders. And I made two very similar designs with both of them sort of in the jigsaw puzzle lover niche. One of them was a jigsaw puzzle piece saying, looking for my other half, and the other one was a jigsaw puzzle piece saying, a good friend is always in your corner. Now, I made both of these orders, on September 9th. I'm gonna let you have that information sink in. We are in November 12th today. This is Friday morning for me. And I made these orders well over two months ago with both Printful and Printify. The order from Printful I got within a week, I think, or something like this from their fulfillment center in Europe. I'm in Bulgaria right now. And the order from Printify never came. And so this morning I went up on Printify and I asked the supplier, hey, <laughs> what's up with my order? The thing is, it didn't show up. They asked me if I wanted a refund or a new product, but they can't make a new product because the exact t-shirt has actually been discontinued and that supplier is no longer working with them. I didn't really quite understand that. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I should just order a different t-shirt from Printify maybe a different t-shirt from Printful, uh, maybe just do the t-shirt review for Printful for like just now because I literally had that t-shirt sitting in, in up in my office for almost two months. And I went downstairs to reception, just sit around with friends a little bit before I decide what to do. And a FedEx delivery came with a t-shirt from TeePublic. Hence today's video, one t-shirt print to demand product review from Printful and one from TeePublic. And if you guys don't know, TeePublic is a print and demand marketplace and supplier. They have been purchased by Redbubble, but they still have their own fulfillment centers and shipping centers and whatnot. And they have a variety of t-shirts. I mean, they're called TeePublic for a reason. They have so many different types of t-shirts and they do look interesting. The only problem with that, and I think that I mentioned it a little bit in my previous video about the Printful versus Society6 hoodies, is the whole shipping to the EU thing, because this was shipped from the United States, and I got a call from FedEx asking me about this delivery, and then, um, and I basically had to prove that I paid VAT, which I did, and the best way to prove that you paid VAT is via invoice. The thing is, I didn't have an invoice. T Public never sent me an invoice for this order. I got an order confirmation showing the VAT number, but of course, that was in a different currency, not even in dollars, that was in shekels, because that's how I paid, I got a shipping confirmation, no invoice. And as I'm a seller on TeePublic, I couldn't even access the orders page to even see what I was getting. And I literally had like, I, I think that I was overall over seven or eight hours with FedEx in several phone calls. I literally signed off permission for them to open the package. Maybe an invoice is there, which was not. And then I had to sign off to FedEx that this is a $5 t-shirt that I paid VAT for as a part of a larger shipment. And I was like telling the girl from FedEx, I don't know why they wrote down $5. I did not pay $5 for this. I paid more. She said, we're not able to, touch, to get in contact with a supplier. And we know that this might have cost you more and just sign off. And I was like, okay, that feels weird. And then the package came here this morning. So in this order I have here, and I'm reading it from my computer, the classic t-shirt male fit large navy heather t public t-shirt size l and i ordered it with a sort of like a design that i did that says puzzle queen and we also have another t-shirt from printful unisex basic soft style t-shirt the gildan 64000 white size large and it says looking for my other half now, the Printful t-shirt cost me $8.53. That's after 20% discount. Because if you're a seller on Printful, like if you're connected to their base, you can pretty much order three products with a great discount every single month to do test orders. So I guess that the actual price was a little bit higher than that. And it was sent to me from their Latvia Fulfillment Center. And the price for... The other t-shirt was, let me have a look, I can't even see the price. 
I can't even see the price I paid for it. I don't know if you can see this. I can see some of my orders in an Excel. That's how you can see your orders on TeePublic. It's quite annoying. Um, I can't really actually see the actual product. It looks so weird. Let me just quickly go up to my storefront. And we're talking about the Puzzle Queen design. And this was a classic t-shirt mail fit and I think it was navy heather or heather gray no it was a navy heather and it was I think $13 and the way that these two platforms work obviously is very different if you work with TeePublic then you cannot integrate it with anything you just have to upload designs onto the platform there's actually a full tutorial on TeePublic in this channel already so you can go ahead and check it out and with Printful, you just need to integrate it with your own shop and sell it on your own platform. But enough chit chat on my part. Let's just go and try these t-shirts on. Ta-da! So, let's start with packaging. First and foremost, I said it in the video two days ago. This is how Printful send their stuff. Looks like another random AliExpress order with nothing on it. But the good thing about it is that I had an Etsy store named Dainty Mugs. I think it was like four years ago. It was integrated with Printful. So this was sent to me from Dainty Mugs. And um, the thing is that if you're doing your own print and demand, it's quite important that the name on the actual item will not be from the supplier, but from you. So that was quite well. Came in package like this. And oh, oh my god. Okay, so this has been sitting in this for two months. And uh yeah, it smells like paint so much. <laughs> oh my god, I hate doing these videos. It smells so bad. This is the Gildan 64,000. I should have done it in my office now. My room is going to stink. And, oh. And it says, looking for my other half. And, oh my God. This is actually a design from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to leave a link down below for this listing. You can actually purchase this graphics along with other ones for commercial purposes. So it's kind of fun. And I did the looking for my other half add-on using Canva. And let's check out the tea public that came in like this. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out where the tea public thing is, or because it was rewrapped. So this is sort of the wrapping, but it was opened and then rewrapped by FedEx because I told them to open it up. And we're talking about navy heather. Let me pull up the navy heather on the screen next to me from the mock up. And this is what I got. I think the colors are okay. I think the colors look fairly okay. Not like the video I did a few days ago with Printful, like, sweatshirt looking totally off. So I think that this one kind of looks okay. And you can see here the Puzzle Queen design and a little bit of paint smell. Just a little bit. Not... Not too much to warranty, uh, ugh, but just a little bit of paint smell. And this was actually quite of a cool t-shirt because it says Puzzle Queen on it. And I just did like a jigsaw puzzle piece from Canva, put kawaii eyes on it and a crown. <laughs> and I kind of love it. Yes, they're all relating to my jigsaw puzzle project. And this was actually the Bella Canvas. So this is the Bella Canvas USA Strong. I actually really like the Heather one. And you know what? Let me just try them out for you guys. Now, I really hope that you appreciate the huge amount of sacrifice that I'm doing for these videos. And not just because that this t-shirt smells terrible and I can't breathe and my door has to be closed. Otherwise, there are going to be noises from the outside. But also because it's currently 5 degrees in Bansko. And I'm so cold. I'm so cold. Okay, so this is the t-shirt. I'm going to try to show you how it looks. It came out quite nice. I took a man fit. I took like a unisex fit. So it came off, you know, obviously quite different than if I would have taken a women's t-shirt. But I kind of like man fits. I like to cut them open. I think it would be a really nice t-shirt for the summertime, you know, for when going out to the pool or just hanging out and just want like something to like, you know, drop on, like to just drop something on you, like very, very light and breezy. And I think I'm also going to cut them around here, you know, being a woman and all. But I do think that for a man fit, it's quite well. But like I said before, this is incredibly smelly. So let me just switch up to the Tee Public t-shirt. Ah, 
much better. Okay, so this one is also a man fit. I can't. I, I think maybe I should start uh, like ordering women t-shirts. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like the men one because I like to cut them off. But this is so nice. Other than the fact that I'm freezing cold right now, the fabric is so much better. If I do have to compare the Bella Canvas to the Gildan 64,000, Bella Canvas is much better. The printing quality is actually quite nice. And it is very long, obviously, because it's for a man. I think I'm going to just cut it up again like cut up the neck cut up the waistline but i think i kind of like it the puzzle queen i might even wear it tonight to karaoke we'll see so to conclude we have the less stinky t-shirt from t public that obviously came off branded because it's t public we have the shirt from printful this one is the bella canvas navy heather and this one is the gildan 64000 that smells so bad i think the printing of printful actually came out a bit better than the printing of this one even though I don't really mind because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Even though the de design is a bit low, I think I should have made it higher or something. I am going to cut both of them. Yes, I'm ordering men unisex t-shirts, but that's kind of how I like it. And I hope that you like this video because if you did and you want to see me order more stuff because there are so many packages coming up my way, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed because I am doing a lot more videos. The thing is, I want to do a live video today instead of this one, which will probably be as a live premiere. I wanted to do a live video so much. And I was like, hey, I'm going to do a live video, 9.30 a.m. Bulgaria time. And then as, a, as I was about to like go live on YouTube, it basically said, hmm, you need to apply to go live. It's going to take 24 hours to approve. So hopefully tomorrow at 7 p.m., that is Saturday the 13th of November at... 7 p.m. Bulgaria time. Hopefully I will be able to go live here in the channel and talk about print me and printables. I have so many questions that you guys have sent me throughout the time that I was on a break. Some of them I wrote down to answer in this live chat and of course you can also come in. It's going to be again a live video, not a live premiere like this one where I'm talking and there is a chat there. Not that one. An actual live video with live chat where if you write to me, I can reply back to you by talking and not just with text. And I hope that you guys will join me because it's going to be super fun. And of course, if you have any questions and you want to ask me them in advance for this live video tomorrow, maybe because, you know, you're not sure you're going to be able to watch it or you want to get in queue because I have already like 15 questions placed down, you can either comment them to this video down below or just send them to me to my Instagram at may.arroyo. And with that being said, and with me going to completely destroy, I don't remember who said it, but someone told me to try baking soda to take the smell off of this because cleaning it with vinegar, and vinegar can destroy coronavirus, cleaning this with vinegar five times on the hoodies was the amount of times I had to wash it to get the stench of the printing off. So I'll try baking soda <laughs> for this time. If I manage to find baking soda, everything is in Bulgarian here and I don't read Cyrillic. So I'm going to try to wash this off. I'm pretty much going to cut these out, but I am rather pleased with the printing quality of both for my new jigsaw puzzle project and more on that in the next few days. And with that being said, that was it from me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you've seen any of my live premieres, you pretty much know what I'm about to say right now because the live chat is going to go away in three, two, one, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow in a live video. Bye guys!